American people in these religious convictions is to endure. The principles of our declaration will perish. We cannot continue to enjoy the result if we neglect and abandon the cause. It is often asserted that the world has made a great deal of progress since 1776, that we have had new thoughts and new experiences which have given us a great deal of advance over the people of that day. But that reasoning cannot be applied to the Great Charter. If all men are created equal, that is final. If they are endowed with unalienable rights, that is final. If governments derive their just powers from the consent of the governed, that is final. No advance, no progress can be made beyond these propositions. If anyone wishes to deny their truth or their soundness, the only direction in which he can historically proceed is not forward, but backward, to the time when there is no equality, no rights of the individual, no rule of the people. Those who wish to proceed in that direction cannot lay claim to progress. They are reactionary. Their ideas are not more modern, but more ancient than those of the revolutionary fathers. We live in an age of science and of abounding accumulations of material things. These did not create our declaration. Our declaration created them. The things of the spirit come first. Unless we cling to that, all our material prosperity, overwhelming though it may appear, will turn to a barren scepter in our grasp. If we are to maintain the great heritage which has been bequeathed to us, we must be like-minded as the fathers who created it. We must not sink into a pagan materialism. We must cultivate the reverence which they have for the things that are holy. We must follow the spiritual and moral leadership which they show. We must keep replenished that they may glow with a more compelling flame. 